Hi, Gino Borges here. Just returned back from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, the portal into the southern entry of Yellowstone National Park. It's my first time I've visited Yellowstone National Park, huge national park in the northwest portion of Wyoming, and also the nation's first park, which I didn't know that, but that was pretty cool as well. But there's a couple cool features about Yellowstone that really separate it from other national parks, and that is two things. One is that it's a thermal mecca. There is so much hot water there, it's just nuts. There's all these different types of hot springs, there's geysers, there's bubbling mud, and all these other little thermal qualities that uh, they have little little ways you can go see them through boardwalks and set asides and you walk down to them. It's really cool. The other thing is the wildlife, this big game. It's not too often that we get to see big game roaming through the streets. Uh, but when you make these loops, there's two major loops through Yellowstone National Park. Um, you get a chance to see uh, bear activity and also lots of bison. My goodness, there was lots of bison. And there's a wonderful, huge canyon. Yellowstone Canyon is a beautiful place as well with a lot of waterfalls. But one thing that sticks out to me is, is that with so much thermal activity, and that is one of the big drawing cards of, of Yellowstone National Park, and that is is that when you walk into Old Faithful, the visitor center in particular, on the wall they have this big quote. It's the featured quote in their visitor center that says, Hot water suggests this radical aliveness and potential to be spiritual and medicinal. Yes, I agree with that. But when you visit Yellowstone National Park, there's one recommendation I would make to all those involved in designing Yellowstone National Park for greater participation is that you guys do a great job. You get us really close to that water, but merely all we're doing and all we're able to do is witness the water. And it's very hard to be spiritual and medicinal and to experience that, that medicinal quality and that spiritual quality unless we get the chance to experience it. And that is meaning tactile experience. And I know what the first response is, is that the first response is, well, people, if they get close to it, they get burnt and so forth. And we've had a lot of injuries. And that is... Great, we're appealing to the lowest common denominator there, but there are ways of controlling that water. Like, I spend a lot of time going to hot springs in Nevada. The source is always really hot. The source is incredibly hot, but you can do pipes and governors uh, with little faucets to tubs or little pools where people can put their feet, their hands in, or maybe even sit in it. And that's when, that is when thermal activity becomes medicinal and spiritual. And that's when we also can move people from liking nature to loving nature. Right now we have a lot of like people walking on these boardwalks out to these thermal pools, but all they're able to do is take pictures. For me, that's too much of like a museum. Um, the animals, the wildlife, I love the fact that people can get close to these bison, yes, close to these bears. They're not supposed to get too close to these bears, but very close, 100 yards or so. And then the, and then the bison as well. So do people get gorded? Yes, they do. They get, uh, you know, they can get hurt if unwise. But the problem is, is that the safety of one is precluding the opportunity for millions of visitors to actually experience the, th the medicinal and spiritual qualities of those pools. And what I'd like to see in the future, next time I visit Yellowstone National Parks, are there opportunities, safe and cautious ways, to actually engage the water, to actually participate, rather than watching ooh and ah and over geysers and watching bubbling water, but they actually have set-asides where people can actually feel that. But um, overall, great park. I'd recommend uh, visiting Yellowstone National Park and uh, spending a few nights up there and just taking it easy on the loops and taking your time to, um, yeah, soak it all up. All right, thank you, everybody.